gonna dash into his cloud burst. Tig trying to push him back, but it seems like for now DHBK have managed to get onto the site. Screwface, one of the many members that are funneling on, and they have. I mean, Lex, they have full scent here. There's nobody staying back, nobody watching a lurk. They're all on the site. Yeah, you have two players flanked in B main already. This is a full envelopment from Beast Coast. DHBK need to hold fast. Frenzy shots being exchanged for a market. A little bit of damage traded, but he can't, despite some spam, is holding with his teammates, waiting for probably an arrow to arrive. There it is. Here it comes. Screwface drops. Stimson drops as well. Gosh. He's pushed just mow him down, right? Anderson able to get one, but D-Cop equalizes things and brings one player left for DHBK, and he's not going to be around for long. Beast Coast get the defuse, and they get the pistol. Yeah, Beast Coast with a beautiful A. Polar drops out of heaven. Finds one on the Harmon at A main. Anderson answers back. Four's all now. Anderson, as you said, equalizing things here. He's through face still with that Bucky. Trying to blindly fire through the Phoenix wall. As d -Cop has that curve already. Flashes out, jumps down, is able to hit one. Looking for a second one as well. That flash is good, but the kills are not. As Dim Sum is and Anderson are able to keep back members of Beast Coast. Just one left on the side of the defenders. And it's Jamie's. You mentioned Lex at the beginning that they bought up. And well, so far. So good. Jamie's just down to 40 health left here in a 1v3. He's going to drop the one with him. Dimson takes him out. They're going to funnel onto the site. You see the jet dash over. Jamie's in a good spot. Jamie's. Jamie's is left entirely unchecked. Nobody even looks at him. Dimson, however, with three. As it drops things to a 2v2. DHBK has both members certainly weak. BC does as well. But much like we saw in the opening round, DHBK have gotten onto the site. They're hunkered down. And they're going to get the spike down. Now, it's going to be on Beast Coast to try to take things back. The lockdown is going to be used by Dim Sum. And it looks like Beast Coast just want to go for it, right? You've got eight seconds to make a move. Dim Sum has the lockdown destroyed, but he's on the flank. He's already got four. Looking for the ace, and Kohler's on the other side. Kohler playing this slowly. Oh, but Dim Sum's got the shot. Give him the ace, baby. Dim Sum gets five. Oh, my goodness. Perspective. All right, 3 1 now against Beast Coast. And it's attacker side ascent too. Yep. Well, and that's it. That's been the, the the fun thing of watching this DHBK squad is this uh -oh. the, really the Cinderella run. <gasps> Jamie's. Uh -oh. Okay. Screwface dash all the way in. Got up and close and personal. Was able to take him out. B dog with the Bucky takes care of Screwface. BC with the numbers advantage. DHBK have not committed to the site. They do still have the spike. It's not sitting in a in a behind enemy lines or anything like that. But Tig clearing things out. Decent understanding where they might Go not here. be. And because of that, they might try to push aggressively here. Oh, the swap truly. <laughs> yep, there's the swing. B-Dog gets one. Tig gets the second. A thrifty round win for BC. Uh, into Boathouse once again. They're going to have to be the anchors. Anderson with the paranoia. Blue face dashes in. Oh, no, he missed. He missed. Oh, my gosh, he missed. Tig gets two. Anderson gets one to trade it out, but they hold fast. They anchor down the site from Boathouse. BC plays oh. that beautifully. My, maybe take a duel of his James. own, but he's going to bide his time for his teammates over Jamie. here at A main. Jamie's, Jamie's, Jamie's. Jamie's with one, dashes away. He's going to get tagged up. Oh, screw face with the Bucky again, man. Jamie's drops. Dim sum with the Vandal. He's going to take care of Kohler and is going to drop BC down to two members left. I, this... Is a, this was a mixed buy for DHBK, if I'm not mistaken. And the Hunter Fury is online now for DHBK. They're looking good here in this round. Yeah, and that is just One enemy remaining. such an unfortunate dink onto Jammies. He was left with 10 HP over at that A main retreat. Now it's just B Dog in a 1v4 with the spike going down. There is, well, dare I say, no shot, but. Gutsy. Really, uh, Real not going to be a decision that he's going to make. Yeah. No, and they... back up. Oh. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Finish that thought. I'm just going to back up and, and perhaps hold for some exits. That's all. There's one. You saw the, the, well, there's two. Thrifty. You saw the through. Doing quite yet. Tig understanding there's somebody pushing through screw faces, trying to work his way in. Is D Cop with the curveball, oh. but no, it doesn't matter. Screwface and Dimsum get a couple 
as Screwface takes care of Tig as well. He's got the op. They're going to have full A control. BC very quickly fall apart as they only have two left in the round. Yeah, and again, we talked about the economy kind of being rough for Beast Coast here. So when a two on five, you know, I'm sure they have a teammate in their ear that's like, might want to save here, guys, because, you know, there, there's not a whole lot they're going to be able to work with in the final round. You've only got five on the board. Wise decision here, I think, from Beast Coast to back it up. And Screwface, man, I, he has had several times throughout this this attack side really open things up for the team and, and not yep. just you know finding the entries doing it in really awkward unconventional ways you know about the bucky round a few you know rounds prior where got an operator out of the hands of these goes and he's gotten his blade storm going he found two i mean hbk mm. and they could be in a good spot jamie's once again same same look we saw a couple of rounds ago pay off. This time, he stays alive. Ange has tried to take this dry peak a few times. I wish he would have just thrown a jiggle, but Jammy's... Uh, obviously, he finds success there often. He's played Whoa. there a few times. And this from the shadows to switch. Closing the door quickly means B-Dog. Pig on oh. sight are alone and outnumbered and suddenly get surrounded and overtaken. Four on two retake for Beast Coast yeah. here, Doug. They're very different from where we've seen them anchor down the site by themselves in Boathouse. This time they fall apart. But much like we saw previously and much like we've seen DHBK like to do, they funnel everything onto that site, right? They're fully sent in there. There's a Hunter Fury by Harmon. Not maybe we've gotten a little something, but not not much. All right, Clear's gonna clear out. Mana Storm, Screwface with the Judge. One, Screwface with the Judge, looking for the second. The Paranoia is there, but it's Anderson who gets it. A 3K as DHBK. Unattended. I mean, they, they can pitch a tent, take their dang sweet time, too, before they make anything happen. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the map, Kohler with a big pick early on. Looking to see if he can get a second across the middle as well. As Ange now makes his way onto the site. DC funnel everything in, and Harmon shows up. So far, so good. Dimson looking for a second one as well, but it's Ange with the second. For him, as Decop trades one out. 3v2, make that a... Yeah, 3v2, excuse me, in favor of DHPK. Decop drops. B-Dog drops. Excuse me. Dimson goes big. DHPK win the pistol. And honestly, it's it, it, the eco that... Well, another fast market split coming out here from Beast Coast. Oh, I wanted to save Screwface. We did anything. He was one... He had a little something. Anderson with the swing. Beautiful. As it's down to Kohler with the Sheriff. Which certainly means that nothing is a done deal. But he's going to get a chance at making something happen. He's got one. Enemy down. He's got two. Still a pretty long road ahead of him, though. As Anderson drops. He's not... I mean, he doesn't have the spike either. It's, it's really, it's going to be a, a fragging out at this point. He doesn't really have a chance to do much else. He's going to drop. Dimson takes care of him from behind. DH3 from Harmon's going to be used there. Tagged up one. Looking to see if he can land the death blow. Nothing doing quite yet. East Coast. They've, they've gotten on there and in a decent spot. But DHBK again are creeping up as well. And through all of the gunfire that's happened, now players are starting to drop. Harmon gets one, Kohler trades it out. There's the Bucky that we were talking about. Screwface getting up close and personal, taking his lunch money and getting a second one with the Bucky. DHBK rips oh them God. apart. Beast Coast, yes, they didn't have guns to work with, but DHBK, man, they're playing with... Can go absolutely huge. You see him teeing it up. There's... Do it, man. There it is. There it is. Jamie's goes there. Screwface gets one, however. But Jamie's looking for a bit more. He's going to have a chance to edit, but he's going to get pushed back. Anderson on the flank gets the final one. And then Screwface with three. With that blade storm there at the end, DHBK. I, I like match point. BC has no money, if I'm not mistaken. This, this is. <laughs> you know, everything seems to be going right for them, but all of their. their and taken care of and already East Coast angry about how things have gone so far up for a fast B play. Screwface has a judge in hand. Oh. E-Cop clears him out after one, but now it's a four on four, Doug. Hunter Fury was used as well. You see Anderson on the flank. There's going to be some, some utility to get through, but see if he can make a play happen. He's actually going to have to back up. East Coast have gotten onto the site, drop things down to a 2v2, but he is going to drop. It's just Harmon here. Or excuse me, it's just Tig on the attacking side. He's got a judge. He had a judge. 
but he also doesn't have much of C for C of positioning. He's going to drop so well played by DHBK, bro. It was, it was a complete performance from them. They look good on defense. They look good on attack. It's interesting, Doug. Before I hand it over to you, I have one thing to say, which is you mentioned the one duelist comp, a nice duel being won by Screwface. That worked earlier today for another team. Yep. T1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See whether or not that becomes a continuing trend. Well, I want to see... So that dart... All right, hang on. <laughs> hang on here. There's no wall. Anderson. <gasps> Anderson. Oh, he went under the tube. Found him. I thought for sure he was going to go <gasps> behind him. All right, Dimson is going to have some info. He's going to have a really good idea of where they are, and he's going to get a chance. What? Looking for the second? Not? Oh, I didn't even see it. Doesn't matter. Beast Coach just down to one. d -cop by himself. He's going to try to heal himself up. Manages to get that pick onto Dimsum. Uh, and is now, I mean, still in a, in, a, in a brutal spot. Taking their way at B-Long. They've got a couple of other members funneling their way forward. Anderson here, Harmon. Managed to get one with that Marshall through the smoke, I believe. And then Anderson and Dimsum. I, I mean, East Coast has ripped to shreds here. Still rocking the slimy Boogerman tag. Back to B to try to fight for this retake. It's going to be a 5 on 5. Remember, DHBK are rocking a bonus here. So gun advantage should technically be in favor of Beast Coast. Harmon with the Marshall. Same spot we saw in here last time. Was absolutely filthy. Look at TV replicate that success. James goes first. Oh, what a good spot. Anderson able to get one. James trades it out. However, his team is Anderson is still alive with the Spectre. Gets a second one on the round as the clock continues to tick away. Harmon with the Marshall, but it's dropping down to just Harmon. In a one <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Harmon, you're insane. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know how that didn't land because I want to say he's a Vandal player. Yeah. Anyway, Beast Coast here, financially, artillery, not a whole lot there. Jamie's opting to use the Blade Storm and Anderson punishes him, takes care of him. Tig with the Sheriff, however, gets one. The wall goes up. DHBK going to have to fight for this retake here. And, well, this has already been... You will not I mean, they're making it expensive. It looks like they're going to try to go for it here, but the problem is that Rez was in such a brutal spot. b Dog gets one. DHBK's just down to one. Beast Coast are doing this thing in thrifty fashion. Somebody in chat must be spamming some pogs or, or dogs or whatever they are to help b Dog because that man is coming in huge. Man, okay, they are. They're 30 seconds left. Well, you meant, I mean, the fact that they aren't investing the Hunter Siri, that they, they didn't even really bite, right? All like, they're still B, there. Though. Screwface yeah. retreated off of B, and now he's coming back. There's the Hunter Siri that we were talking about. Screwface is going to use the Blade Storm. Oh, but B-Dog behind him takes care of him. Harmon takes care of him as it shuts down to B-Top. In a 1v4. One. one. For more. Two. Three. Oh. That was a caught. Yep. That, that was, was looking legit. real spicy. Oh, man. I don't even know what, like, run that they don't have to worry about using in, in response to another one, and no Hunter Fury to worry about either. Kohler's gonna drop. Beast Coast is kind of getting picked apart here. And, and again, we mentioned they don't have much. This is, this is the only thing they have here. And it's delivering for now three jammies. He's got 45 health here. He's gonna dash away into his own cloud burst. And this would Jamie's. Jamie's already gotten four. Jamie's looking for the last one. 45 health. He's got the classic. No more blades to work with here. But he's got to go. He goes in aggressive. Jamie's gets pushed back through his own cloud burst. 16 health. He's got to run for the fences here. There's no time for the defuse. Jamie's doesn't get it. Screwface gets the kill. But Beast Coast gets the round. Execute from BC comes underway. DHBK know where it is, right? Like Screwface was anchoring down the long, so they knew they weren't there. The Reina was watching middle, so they knew it had to go A, but it looks like now they're going to try to flip the map on its head. The lockdown has been used, you will not and B-Dog is the first one there, but B-Dog's on an island right now. Kohler's going to get brought back into fold. B-Dog needs to try to stay alive, potentially get a pick if he can, because the spike is just now making its way halfway across the map. The other thing to keep in mind is that the jet is alone. Here, as, as things have quickly turned over, now it's Screwface, who's in a brutal spot where he's alone, he's got a knob, and he's waiting for teammates to show up. But Screwface says, that's perfectly fine with me. Seconds. Harmon shows up, able to take care of B-Dog, but the spike has to go down here. Cole with one, Jamie's with the plan, he gets it off. 
Beast Coach just down to Jammies, however, as he's going to get pushed away. He's got 54 health. He doesn't have any health left. Actually, I lied to you. Harmon's going to get the defuse. DHPK are going to take a three-round lead. Oh, now you're in a situation where economy was built up. Things were good. And Anderson, Jammies, trading blows back and forth. Ooh. Jammies coming out on top again. Okay. This duelist on the side of Beast Coast is really make or break in all of these rounds for them. No He's left. making it now with two huge entry frags. Now, DHBK just has one player on the site. And... Patiently, thankfully, there's a hunter theory, but Jamie's gets care, takes care of Ange as well. Three on the round for him so far, as DHBK are down to, to scraps. Really, two members, both coming in from the same side, Harmon and Screwface, with the, a tall order in front of them. They're outnumbered. They've got to somehow get past the, the defenses of Beast Coast and still get the defuse. And the thing is, it's been ticking away for a little while now, so it's not like time is on their side. It looks like they're just going to save, potentially get a couple of exits on the way out. I don't think they have a plan on this fight here. Yeah, I think Screwface needs to One save the Operator at all costs. Gets a frag for a consolation prize, but oh, make that two. Dog. And he should survive here. So this went from being, you know, they're cognizant of the fact that they can't let him save this operator, and they they as fast as he can back towards screens. Dude, Jamie. And the only from Anderson at least is going to bail him out for a moment. As Jamie just jumps in and finds two more with a judge, Whoa. three more with a judge. This man can't be stopped. Dude, Hell W fully set onto the site, hunting for it. He's already got four, looking for the ace, and no, he gets the half started. For them to have a grit to get to this point where we're having a conversation about six six is just. It's very impressive. They're going to get the wall up. It looks like they're going to get the spike down as well. DHBK has already lost one member. To try to fight to take the site back. Jamie's, Jamie's has just been a, a man possessed for Beast Coast here as DHBK just have two members remaining in the round. Nothing to save for. No reason to hold anything back. Dimson gets one, but he gets traded out and is alone. And he's not around for long. Beast Coast again out. The paranoia goes out as well. And swings first. Screwface looking for a little something as well. He's going to dash back. Both the members of Beast Coast are starting to show up as well. And they're showing up at just the worst possible time as Screwface and Anderson are already able to get one apiece. Tig on the other side of the smoke looking for something. He gets it. B Dog gets it as well. 3v3 here. Harmon still hasn't gotten the spike down. He's going to have to hurry. B Dog gets another one again. The spike just continues Whoa. to get delayed, but DHBK. I mean, just that. narrow. They're going to be able to get the spike down by themselves. They have room to work with, spread out, assume very comfortable post plants. And BC, I mean, the gun's not in a great spot. Losing side of, or losing control of the site as well certainly doesn't feel good, but Decop getting a big one there. Oh my goodness, all of these engagements are so precarious, and Dim Sum pays with his life, Anders. Really was hoping to get that paranoia out. He does not. Now it's a two on three. Ange, I mentioned in the previous half, being a bit uncomfortable. Now he's in full reign of form. I'm going to take these bulldog fights. And Kohler actually is going to win the first one. Now it's just Harvin in another 1v1. Fails dissipates and HBK. Looks like they're out of a round, but we've seen this so many times before. I am not ruling them out here, Doug, as Ange gets aggressive, finds one. Kohler does get one before he falls. Armin now in another 1v2. He finds one, he finds two. 1v1 now. Dancing around. The movement Woo! is too strong from Decop. Draws out the spray, and Harmon will fall despite his efforts. And you know what, Doug? Despite, uh, you know, those efforts that I just... All the way up entirely uncontested. I don't... 30 seconds I mean, left. there is a tight 50 here. Oh no, I beat up the timing. Oh, Harmon! Harmon snaps on him and takes him out. Tig trades it out. But, but at this point, DHBK should have room to work on the site. The thing is, they only have two members left, and one of them has nothing for health. He's going to drop. BC tie us up. They refuse. Scary Omen player. He's proved to be thus far, and Owl Drone instantly coming out. This is no doubt about it going to be a fast five man B play from DHBK, but they haven't shown their hands till now. The rotates will come in from Beast Coast. Dimson should be able to get the spike down. You see Jamie's with the op from up top. He's been so good with that weapon, and he's going to get a chance to flex on that again. Harmon clearing out that corner that Kohler normally plays. Unfortunately, it was Decop for him this time around. Jamie's, however, 
Good for one. Screwface trades it out as Anderson is on the push-up Beast Coast. Down to two. And for them, it's a, I mean, it's a good Kohler. Good for one. B-Dog good for one as well. Kohler's going to drop a 1v2 in favor of DHBK. B-Dog. B-Dog. Oh, B-Dog goes in aggressive. Screwface greets him by slicing his face. The spike hasn't gone down. And you see... You see Dim some potentially considering... All right, he was just holding down the flank. Tick's still there. The spike is going to go down. Shock dart. Not going to connect onto anything. Kohler good for Harmon. Kohler good for Anderson. Kohler good for two. As Beast Coast sit pretty here. Standing. Tig and Kohler both answering the call that put to them just now a moment ago. Some not dead yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Tig finds three, dude. That that is exactly what Ace across B, but they haven't committed to it. The spike across the middle. Dimson gonna try to rotate over and see if he can get some room, but as as quickly as Beast Coast get a, a window, DHBK punch right back. Such a here. tense moment over here at Long Beat where both jets just feet meters Ooh. away. You talk with an A main push that catches a dim sum unawares. That's a lot of information. That's a lot of map yep. territory that now just question marks for DHBK. They're almost forced to commit here at B with 35 seconds left on the clock. Oh, I mean, they have to. Right? Like, they, I don't... They, they've created some room and they have a decent idea of where at least one of the, uh, one of the jets is. So they have to commit here. They don't have time to go, other, oh. to go elsewhere. And with a big shot onto DCOP. 3v3 here. DHBK also has the Hunter's Fury for the post plant potentially. You see him back up, he has to stay alive as Beast Coast. It's on them now to retake the site to try to get things back in their favor. The Empress has been used by Ange, who as you mentioned has been quiet, but he's gonna have an opportunity for something special here. Here's the Hunter Siri. You heard him tap, trying to, to push him off, but Screwface good for one. He's gonna dash back up, Beast Coast. Go with Jamie's here. Jamie's is gonna drop Ange for three. The Empress, he goes up. Beedog rips him down, but Ange gets four. Down comes in from the defense, and those shock darts need to either clean it up or it needs to get dropped. There it goes. We're on four now, Doug. You should run. Oh, Jamie's. Jamie's is good. There's the other lockdown that's gonna be used in response along with the Hunter Fury from Tig. Spike is down here. Beast Coast have to make the move. Jamie's is going to drop. Screwface takes care of him, and he's going to use a Blade Storm of his own. Now, Beast Coast, again, they've got to go here. Tig taps on it, but pulls back off. D-Cup goes big. Tig does as well. It's just down to Ange, and he is not able to pull it off. Beast Coast live to fight another round. Taking some really bold dry peaks now. Oh, and no he gets the first way. one to Screwface. That is huge. I mean, that was their calling card, right? Like, there was that was their ace in the hole. Dimson, shoot. Nope, Finish. no he's not. Ladies and gents, it looks like almost a foregone conclusion here. The, the artillery problem that we painted for DHBK at the beginning of the round might be what sends us to overtime. And here with one, Harmon with one as well. No way, surely not, surely not, right Harmon? has a good idea of where one player is. The problem is the spike isn't down, right? Like, there's no equalizer here to apply pressure on Beast Coast. The things are only 15 seconds left. DHBK have to quickly get onto the spike and get it down, but you've got to be careful about the Soba. Tig on the flank. Tig good for one. Looking for the second. We're going to overtime. Already an op on Jamie's. Yeah, they both, a Screwface oh, no. and Jamie's both brought ops into the fold. The spike goes down. DHBK seemingly able to hold fast on A with, with little problem so far. The spike is in a horrible spot for Beast Coast. They're going to have to get through the defenses of DHBK and still get onto the spike to be able to plant it. It's a tough ask, but again, in overtime here, you've got to make it happen. Tig gets onto the spike, gets it down that wall, buying some time and creating some space. Now it's on DHBK with the numbers advantage to try to take this bad boy back. Tig from up top, gonna get a chance at something here. One, screw face. Oh, with the op two, Tig, good for three already. Tig's putting the round on his back as he's trying to put DHBK away to give them the lead, but screw face with the op, good for one. B-Dog gets one, it's just down to Dimson. Dimson's gonna drop, Jamie's gets the shot. 
Beast Coast take the lead. And really, I mean, Doug, you called it, but that heroics pushed off of it. Again, just buying time. Just enough time for Decom to show up. Anderson, very well played. He gets around him. Dimsum. Dimsum's on the flank. He spots a couple of players. And if he can just hold fast and keep them at bay, he keeps them out of the play. But DHBK have fallen apart. It's just Screwface alone. He's good for one. But with Seven five seconds. seconds left, there's just no time. Beast Coast. Beast Coast, they look, they look like this map was lost so many times. Leaning towards A, they've got showers control, they've got short control, well, I lied. They had, they had it, <laughs> but Tig dispatches of them instantly. Uh, that frenzy coming up big, a shot dart to follow, oh. Dim Sum eats that one. Despite recovering the ghost, Stange will actually be the one to pick it up, Tig falls, that's one, decop. Good jammies. Uh... The frenzies are just too strong. Anderson, you gotta go, baby. Takes a telly, gets the heck out of dodge. Looks like he's gonna be able to get the spike down. No, Yo, it, it this is though, winnable, bro. bro. Yeah. Yeah, look at the HPs, and he's yep. got a molly. Yep, certainly winnable. We'll see if he has any cheeky, like, lineups. But he's gonna get a chance here. Dash is there. Quick. Ooh! Okay, he's got at least info on two. Swings around. No way. One. One enemy the smoke, two. No freaking way. Anderson, oh. baby. The 3K. Line them up and knock them down. DHB. Because nobody's home. Right? They're going to be able to get onto the site for free. Now, Beast Coast. They, they, they don't have a ton here. We'll see how they choose to play this one out. Yeah, despite some small investment, perhaps, into weapons. Really, that was just an A stack looking to. Perhaps find an unwitting DHBK retreating towards there after seeing the Bucky instead. Here we are, Anderson finding a very uncomfortable and shocked B Dog. Surprise. Orbital Strike is online. Turns on Tig, and just one left that is uh, in Hookah. <laughs> He's got the Bucky. He's been wisely backing up now. All right, there's a scope on top of that, pretty sure. The Bucky. <laughs> it, it seems. Yes, Doug. And I, I'm guessing more and I'm, I'm hoping even as Kohler finds that pick over at showers, perhaps we'll see an orbital strike and an A execute. We can cross our fingers here and hope, but your face already in possession of you hall up short is all of DHBK. And here we go. Dude, Spike soon to be planted. Yeah, man. He's taking so much space here at this point. They can just smoke off heaven and Kohler's going to have to peek his way through that great camera there to get him some info, take it, keep a close eye on the telly too. Someone just took it out, gonna be pushing in through showers. They're wise to it, screw face. Oh no, oh no, no. Unfortunate events. Anderson gets Tig, Dimsum gets it as well. DHBK still in a decent spot here. Jamie's on the defuse. However, he's gonna stick at the balls on this guy. And he dies. We'll see, we're gonna get a chance here unless somebody intervenes. That's never mind. Bucky's never lose, man. You jinxed them. Screwface oh. gets one. Screwface dashes in, gets the second one as well. Beast oh. goes down to three members left. Kohler with some nice shots with the classic. Spike okay. Planted. All right. But the spike goes down over on A. Everyone's just kind of like lost in their whereabouts. One enemy remaining. There's just not, not a whole lot that Beast Coast can do here. That was so painful to witness. Yeah, you jinx can get a little bit more room, but Jamie's with the op. Doesn't, doesn't, no just narrowly, left. doesn't get a shot to take a look really at anything. B-Dog good for one. one Tig is remaining. as well, and the spike goes down. DHVK fall apart at the seats. Ange taking the scalp of Kohler at least to start, but 1v4, highly unlikely scenario, and at the paint shells in hand. So might be able to turn this on its head. 30 seconds left. But to do so, you're going to need to at least survive that. They make you haul again. Oh. Jamie's will still has showers to control. And that's, that's so difficult. It's very similar to not having who can be to make something happen if you don't have showers control. It's so much harder to breathe. Dimson gets one. Remaining. And I, again, DHBK. Dude. Well... 
you look look at where the raise is for Beast Coast. They know there's the opportunity, right? Like there's the possibility of him pulling out and potentially taking the tally. Dimsum, I mean, dude's a, dude's in a brutal spot. This is a tough clutch, but you got 40 seconds. You've got time. You haven't you haven't taken a ton of damage. That's info. Yeah. Dancing around site now. Just looking for a mistake. Left. As far as mistakes go, East Coast has seldom made one in this round, but he has Dimsum the theft. Planted the spike. And no brim. Sorry, no no uh pages to work with. So this is just gonna be all raw aim duels. Hammer comes back up, but it doesn't matter. D Cup had rotated. It's been a different story, but that position yep. is so strong. Yep. Tig stuck in two, but crossfired a bit, but D Cop really overplays his hand there at long, and instead Anders steps forward, finds two crisp vandal headshots, and now it's a four on three where there was once no daylight at B. Orbital strike online, Hunter's Fury online, and there is really a tough ask for a retake here on the table for Beast Coast. It really is. They go from really no daylight at all. Standing. Oh. 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 I wonder what happened there. White catches jammies with his judge. So powerful from that elevated position. Tough clear for Ange without any utility. And Anders. Looking for some space over here at short. Got an orbital strike. Got some smokes. Let's create some space of our own. Here he goes. Dog, be all good for one. Harmon trades it out. Tig with the Hunter Fury, far more successful than Harmon was. But Cole cleans it. Ramifications than normal on this series. Cool. That'll start Anderson, it. Yeah, Anderson going in a little bit aggressive, trying to get spicy. B Dog sniffs it out, takes him out. Dimsa trades it out. As he gets one, and he pushes another member back, U-Haul has been lost for DHBK, but they don't seem to care so far as Dimson gets another one onto D-Cop, running for the fences, staying alive. The damage has been done. Numbers advantage for DHBK, but B-Dog again on that on that lurk. He's been a problem the entire time, and he gets another one onto Screwface. Harmon has to go aggressive, tries to challenge him, pushes him back. DHBK still with the numbers advantage. One and enemy across the middle, it's Harmon who gets it. B-Dog, however, keeping it spicy. He's got one. Three on the round for him here, and DHBK has Dimsum is very weak. He doesn't have the spike. Now he does. I wonder if he's going to try to get out. No, very good crossfire setup. And locked it down. If it betrays yet again. The paranoia is there. The nades push him back. Somehow he doesn't take any damage. There's no betrayal there as he's already gotten two. Anderson gets one as well. Beast Coast get ripped to shreds. There's Betrayer Bucky and then there's Brother Bucky. And right there. That was Brother Bucky. How good. He can be here, see if he can connect on anything. As the map is split, seldom see things play out like this. Up close and personal, Ange gets the gunfight win. Beast Coast down to two members left. DHBK drop down. Now it's actually Beast Coast. Who, we, who we've, my gosh, we've seen so many times. Ooh. out so that it maybe it has worked after all. He's gone. A looks juicy here. They have showers control. They have short control. And Anderson's dead. They're looking for more. Kohler gets on to dim sum. And that should be relatively easy sailing left. the rest of the way. Of course, as I say, that screw face is going to make me eat my words. He gets one with the judge. Spike planted. Narrowly. Missing a paranoia. And, and again, U-Haul hasn't been cleared. Screw face is still there. Meanwhile, members of DHPK are continuing to rotate over. The thing is... Beast Coast with heaven control. Have a good no spot chance. at something here. Harmon gets one. And again, like Screwface has been spotted. They know where he is, but the clock continues to tick away. DHPK are gonna have to bust the move here, try to get onto this defusal. Ange gets onto one. It's just a 1v1 here. Ange oh. comes up big with three, and he's gonna get the defuse, looking to put Beast Coast away. Oh man. He's cleared out elbow. They didn't follow onto the site. 
right? Like, they didn't follow up, and Screwface is there like an anchor. He just holds fast. He's already gotten three. Beast Coast just down to one. At least at this point, oh, no. <laughs> that, that sucks. <laughs> that, that sucks. That would have been a sick ace for the Twitter, but, uh, yeah, maybe tailwinded into the boom bot. These things happen. <laughs> Those were nice shots, though, man. Impressive stuff all series long from Screwface. Now it's just Decop, Bucky in hand, Ange. This is for all the marbles, Doug, and it really seems as though DHBK is in possession of any moment now to come in. Oh, bro, that feels horrible. Jamie tries to dash in, and Screwface greets him with an op. He gets the second one as well. Screwface looking for the third, gets four, looking to make a statement. He drops DHBK down to two members left. Tig is alone. Tig with 20 health. He's got the spike. He's got tournament life. He's got master's hopes on the lines, on his shoulders, as he tries to will Beast Coast into another round. But it's a tough ask. Tig checking any corner he possibly can. And DHBK wisely, just like waiting it out, right? They don't have to challenge. They don't need to take any aggressive gunfights. You certainly don't want to isolate yourself here. You want to set up for crossfire and sure there are no crazy shenanigans that take place. Oh, but Tig goes for the judge. Oh. Surely if, if he pulls this off, it's gonna be an absolutely filthy fashion. You hear the tap? Tig slowly creeping his way forward. There's a tap yet again. Oh. He goes up top, he jumps. Surely they've heard him at this point. As they continue to push forward. Good shock dart there. Two health. No way. No way. He gets one onto Dim Sum. Darts there. It's cleared out. Oh, the shock dart! The shock dart! The shock dart! Harmon does it later.